Civilian victimization, the intentional infliction of harm on the civilian population is a wartime strategy with long-lasting legacies. How does it affect countries' trajectories and state building? What are its implications for political attitudes after war? When we talk about civilian victimization, we mean everything from homicides to forced displacement to sexual violence, disappearances, kidnappings, all forms of violence. There are psychosocial uh, problems, psychological issues uh, related to PTSD and victimization. Each of these kinds of civilian victimization has legacies and are likely to produce uh, changes in political behavior and political attitudes over the long term. Oftentimes politicians um, abstract away from the suffering and travails of victim communities. And it's clear that when we make commitments in the post-conflict environment to reconstruction, rehabilitation, uh, we do so honoring the victims. The Colombian Civil War with this one rebel group, the FARC, lasted for 60 years. We have over 8 million internally displaced people. Uh, from the mid-1980s until today, we probably have somewhere around 250,000 people killed uh, in conflict. And so in 2011, Colombia passed uh, an extremely ambitious victims law, which provided reparations uh, to a huge uh, number of victims. It's a recognition from the state that the state failed to protect that individual in the context of armed conflict. Uh, and we think that this is likely to be a model uh, for other conflicts, for other countries that are transitioning to national peace. We know that civilian victimization affects political attitudes and political behavior. That occurs both in the short term and in the long term. So over the long term, even once conflict ends, once a peace agreement has been signed, victims are more likely to vote, contact politicians, engage in local village councils, are more likely to join NGOs, are more likely to protest and march. And this activation mechanism lasts uh, quite a long time. And this is actually a hopeful uh, sign for the health of democracies in post-conflict spaces.